which part of the reason why I really love these things is Part of what I do as an artist is I create narratives. It's just a thing that happens. I'm interested in storytelling. My favorite types types of art, my favorite pieces of art, have always been things that that feel like they have a narrative track track to them, even if they didn't. But for me, they did. So, you know, it, it has spilled into my artwork, and I write, hence nano. So these are things that are interesting to me. And RP tabletop RPGs are particularly interesting because they're collective storytelling. They're a story you tell together, and dice make things more interesting. They ensure dice rolls ensure that the universe does not go the way you want it to. And that's important because that's very reflective of life in general. And, and Geek and Sentry does them very, very well. But yes, go try these things. Vast is my favorite thing on the planet uh, as far as storytelling goes, with Sagas of Sentry being a very, 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 very close second. Honestly, part of the reason why I love Vast so much and Max and Sam particularly is um, Max's character is a giant space cockroach homicidal space, co space cockroach named Visionary Destroyer which tells you everything you need to know about this character who is a trans narrative. She has become queen of her people through some very interesting choices on Max's part and She's so interesting, and Max does the best. Max makes the best speeches, and it's just like the happiest, happiest making thing. And even when the speeches are not happy, even when the speeches involve, you know, I'm going to rip your face off and eat it. They're just the best thing. And Sam's character, who um, the first time I I saw Sam play was in Eric's TBD RPG as. Um, this lizard plant character named Roko Kokoko, Roko for short. Um, but Sam uh, themselves is a non-binary individual, like me. Um, but their but their character in Vast is basically a giant space bat, who named uh, Mirza Dulcet. And, and Sam speaks with this, like, darling, like, almost Russian accent. It's great. Um, but Marza and Visionary Destroyer have become bond mates. Which is not a romantic thing. It's just a deeply affectionate thing. And there's probably a lot of argument to be made that both of those characters are aromantic. Which also is something I really like. But it's it's so good and so amazing and they are just two of my favorite people playing two of my favorite characters. So yes, this was a really long rambly thing to tell you about how much I love Vast and how much I love Sagas of Sundry. Critical Role is my close third. So I have other things I need to do. I'm going to be taking you with me to the right end today, which might be entertaining for you and might not be entertaining for you. It is hard to know what y'all will find and ent entertaining and interesting. So I'll see you later.
Y'all, it's the stackiest stack of tech in the history of stacks, I swear to God. So everyone is plugged in and set up, and the uh, software is updating and installing. So we're making headway. Alright, so I have at least finished the initial setup of the new tech of Doom, and I fell asleep during Critical Role, so that is why it's very, very dark out right now. So I'm going to close out the vlog and see you all tomorrow, I guess. Tomorrow is opening of the new quarter at the Air Garage, so expect artists being weird or just drinking a lot. You know, things, things we do. Okay. So, um, kind of a late start today. Stayed up really, really late because editing. There is, in fact, a new vlog up on the channel. Sorry, loud sound if you have a mighty need. But, ah, I still, love, still sound lovely. But tonight, I have an opening at the art garage. So... Tonight's going to be kind of a, a late night, and I'm gallery sitting tomorrow, so it's going to be a late night, early day, and a whole lot of the art garage. So that might be fun for you. I don't know. But hopefully there will be some foot fun footage for y'all to look at, and some interesting art to see, and maybe some of my, my art cohort cohort, uh, art cohort will deign to be on the vlog. So, who knows? We're not remotely hiding in my studio during the opening. We're not those people at all. Okay, so we're back from the opening and it was super exciting. Um, so I'm gonna close the vlog out now and do some writing and feed myself something food-like and I'll see you at the gallery tomorrow. Bye.